This is an incredible moment at Penn. The stars are lined up. I think we're at a very interesting point, a very transformational point, a tipping point. This is one of those periods in the life of a great institution where you're happy to have a front row seat. You're in the middle of all this excitement and change. One president of another institution said to me, Penn is a school that's moving and we all know that. I wanted to do something that had a one-to-one -one correlation, me doing something, me helping someone. I mean, I'm doing what I love to do in an environment that loves me doing it. Penn is always moving forward, always pushing to make a real difference in the world. What we have here is a confluence of possibilities, of exciting plans and projects for the future. If there weren't a pen, we'd have to invent one. One of the unique characteristics of Penn is having all 12 schools physically on one campus. And consequently, you get this tremendous interaction. Students are rushing across boundaries between disciplines. They're making connections and combinations we never would have thought of 20, 30, 40 years ago. What distinguishes us is impact. It's great impact on the world, beginning with our impact in Philadelphia. It's about all the stuff you can gain once you leave campus, once you interact with the world. And that doesn't have to wait until graduation, right? That has to be happening all the time. I went to New Orleans with Communitech to help set up donated computers for a lot of small businesses that were trying to get back on track after Hurricane Katrina. Warren students traveled to Rwanda to support women who were victims of gender-based violence during the genocide. And I think there's just the sense of, of shared humanity that you see from an experience like that. When I went to China, we worked with Transtibial, they're below the knee amputees. And I really wanted to see the direct effects of my engineering skills, improving someone's life. I went to the Maldives in the Indian Ocean to help draft the criminal law of the Maldives. It's a once in a lifetime moment. When kids come to Penn today, they realize that Penn is just a part of a whole global connection and they want to be a part of that. And they know that there are many people beyond Penn who really need them. So we are Franklin's university in that regard, ever on the move, as Franklin was, ever trying to show how you can take the broadest swath of knowledge and put it into practice. Investments in education yield the highest returns. It's a very simple formula, and it is absolutely true. So who do we consult? Well, I'm the first person in my family to go to college. I'm definitely the first person in my family to go to medical school. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if there hadn't been financial aid available. We have no idea who's out there and what effect that student that has that scholarship is going to have on the world. You, know, you stand up and you look out at them and you know that you're looking at future governors and mayors. You know you're looking at future leaders in the field of biotechnology. They come to us with a spark. We want to fan it, uh, we want to make it grow, and then we want to make sure that when they leave here, they have all the tools that they need. And this illustrates how important it is to have support for new centers, new institutes, new programs. There's this opportunity to really take on challenges that are 10 or 15 years out. And that's the kind of drive and commitment that you need to stand out in this very competitive world. It makes a huge difference to have these scholars coming to Penn. They attract really interesting students, and I think that's the kind of momentum that Penn is really in the midst of right now. 
We have a once in a century opportunity to expand to our east. We are going to be able to strengthen our academic core with teaching and research buildings. We're going to be able to create recreational and green space and we are going to connect Center City and West Philadelphia with Penn at its core. I study civilizations that are stretching back hundreds and hundreds of years. And the key thing you'll realize with most of those civilizations is that they're moments, that, that they're certain moments that were pivotal. So 100 years from now, historians are going to be looking back to see what institutions shaped the 22nd century. Penn is in the perfect position to do that. It takes hundreds of years of building a reputation like Penn, and someday I would hope to help that legacy keep going. And the campaign for Penn is a campaign about the future. And the limits on what we can achieve in the future are merely the limits of our imagination. The pathways we create for students and scholars to walk today are the innovations of tomorrow. It literally is that direct. It's reminding folks that what they do when they leave matters. I know that I'm going to be hearing names in the future, and I'm going to say I knew them from Penn. My old mentor used to always say to, she who much is given, much is expected. So I feel like if, if you're given a gift like that, you should use it in a way that's positive for the, for the world. We have an incredibly ambitious vision. It is to create a new kind of university. A university that's able to tackle the most challenging problems of the 21st century and which educates students to make a difference. We're Penn, and this is our moment. We're making history together.